The table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of g of x, where g of x equals f of x divided by x plus 3, and f is a linear function. What is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane? Okay, so the first thing we should do is find an equation for f of x. So we can do that by finding the slope and then finding the y-intercept of this equation f of x. So f of x is a linear equation, so it's going to be of the form f of x equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So to find the slope of f of x, we need to find two points and find the rise over the run, or the change in y over the change in x between those two points in f of x. So let's find those two points. So we can do that by using this table here. So the first point we can find by plugging in a value of negative 27 for x into the g of x equation. So when x equals negative 27, g of x equals 3. So that you were using this equation here, the g of x equals f of x over x plus 3. So g of x equals 3 when x equals negative 27. So 3 equals f, f of x. And that's divided by negative 27 plus 3. So then we can simplify this to 3 equals f of x over negative 24. And then we can multiply both sides by negative 24 to get negative 72 equals f of x. So when x equals negative 27, f of x equals negative 72. So that means f of negative 27 is equal to negative 72. So that's going to be our first point. We can write that as negative, here we'll write it up here, our first point, negative 27 comma negative 72. And then we can leave some more space for the second point. So for our second point, we'll just plug in negative 9 for x and 0 for g of x. So when x equals negative 9, g of x equals 0. So 0 equals f of x over x plus 3. And x is negative 9, so plus 3. So this simplifies to f of x over negative 6. But then we can multiply both sides by negative 6 to remove this from the denominator. But that's just going to equal 0. So f of x equals 0 when x equals negative 9. So f of negative 9 is equal to 0. So that'll be our second point. Negative 9, 0. OK, so now, we, now that we have two points, we can find the slope of f of x. So the change in y over the change in x between these two points. So the change in y, we need to find the differences in the y values. So negative 72 minus 0. So negative 72 minus 0 divided by the change in x. So negative 27 minus negative 9. So that's just adding 9. So we'll have negative 72 over negative 18. Okay, and we can simplify that using our calculator. 72 divided by 18, that's equal to 4. And the negatives cancel out. So that means the value of our slope is 4. So in our equation for f of x, we have 4x plus b.
So now let's solve for b. And we can do that by simply plugging in one of the points that we have. So let's plug in this second point, negative 9, 0, into f of x. So f of x is going to equal 0, and x is going to equal negative 9. So 4 times negative 9, and then we'll just solve for the value of b. So 0 equals 4 times negative 9, which is equal to negative 36, plus b. And we can move this to the other side, so we'll be left with b equals negative 36. Okay, so now we have the full equation for... So we have the full equation. This should be a positive 36, actually, since we moved it to the other side. So that means our equation for f of x is f of x equals 4x plus 36. So this is our linear equation for f of x. And in order to find the y-intercept, we just need to find the value of f of x when x is equal to 0. So we'll just plug in f of 0. And so we'll plug in 0 for x. So 4 times 0 is just 0. And then we have the 36. So this equals 36. So that means at an x value of 0, f of x equals 36. So this is the coordinate of the y-intercept, which is answer choice A.